<laughs> How Stone was a little out there? Well, yeah. sure, yeah. Oliver always is, you know. Yeah. He takes at least like a theory and runs with it, you know. Yeah. Tries to prove it. Great. Uh, well, uh, tell me about working with Robert Redford as an actor and also as, you know, a director directing you in this project. Well, you know, there's always a problem when you have a, a writer, director, actor, director. In this case, with Bob, you have not only an actor director, but you also have a writer director. He writes a little bit, you know, especially in tuning up his script and what it takes to get this last word. I'm, you know, I'll fall asleep once in a while in the interview because it's still early in the morning. It's fine. <laughs> if I if I do, just say Nick. We'll, Nick. Just, we'll just wake you up. Yeah, yeah I'll just, just wake you a little up. bit. Go right yeah, ahead. Yeah, I, I can feel it. My, my questions may bore you and put you to sleep. No, anyway, so. no, it's not the questions. <laughs> I just fade out. Um, uh, so he, he's a man of many hats. You know, as a director, he's got to figure out a system so that when when he has to be full attention on the acting, somebody else is watching the scene, watching the aesthetics, making sure that everything is in balance and place. And uh, and I, I don't think he fights on on the set, you know. I, I, thought, I thought I saw him deliberately uh, remove the chairs that one could come back from. I don't know why I fell asleep right in the middle of that conversation too. You said he was very disciplined. Disciplined is yeah. uh, compared to some other directors you've worked with. Well, um, you know, the years I've been in in this profession, I I've seen different kind of frameworks of attitude about acting, and one of them has been this kind of uh, softening up of discipline. You know. Uh, I'll be ready when I'm ready, you know, and it doesn't quite work in our business. You know, you better be ready when everybody's got it all together to be ready, and uh, you wait for that. And uh, the best example of that is De Niro. He, he is a man of patience to the extreme. Uh, and I said to him on Cape Fear once, I said, we were waiting for four hours for them to relight the boat. And, I said, Bob, doesn't this ever bother you? I don't want to, you know, and he said, yeah, yeah, I do. I almost fell asleep. Uh, he said, I, yeah, I do. I do want it to get going. But, you know, Nick, I, they're just trying to get it perfect. And so I'll wait if they're trying to get it perfect because then I can try to get my part perfect. And I thought that was the best answer I had heard. You know, that's amazing. So, no, yeah. in that situation. You know. How is Redford as a scene partner? Because really, all your scenes are opposite him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's great. He's fine, uh, as long as you don't get messed up with the idea that he's the actor and the director. You know, if you just dismiss that idea, it's it's fine. It's, it's Bob as this character. You know, and. Um, but if you get in to the idea, is he watching me while he's acting? Mm -hmm. And does he wish I had moved over there? Yeah. All sorts of things. I fell asleep again there. <laughs> can, you, can you see it when I fall asleep? I get a little bit, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I told you I'd wake you up. I'd uh, shake you uh, right, if, if I did. Yeah, I just slip in and out. Um, uh, so. Um, well, I just found him, he, he's worked it out. However he's done it, he's worked it out, and he's worked it out well. It's, yeah. He's really easy to work with. But let me ask you this, has your process as an actor changed over the years? Are you, do you approach the process differently now than you did maybe, you know, 10, 20 years ago when you were a younger actor? Yeah, oh yeah. I used to be a snotty brat. I, I could be a um, uh, repertory twit, I won't say any other word, but um, I could be a repertory twit, I could be full of myself, a uh, narcissistic bull, you know, especially if it came off a strong season, you know, uh, say Luther and uh, Death of a Salesman and, and uh, Rolls fell asleep. Uh, that's, 
in Summerstock, you know. Yeah. I used to work at the Little Theater of the Rockies in Greeley, Colorado. It was one of the theaters on the circuit. And um, a Professor Lang was there, a female professor, who was very good, one of the best, you know. Northwestern's another school known for theater drama. And um, so I would, I would go up to her class early to watch uh, watch her work, uh, and it, it was quite fascinating. She was she was dealing with college students, so she was just a a bully, <laughs> <laughs> and she broke you of your habits. Okay, so, you know, so she really did. She just cleared it off the off the table. You know. Excellent. Yeah. Well, the last thing I just wanted to ask you was uh, looking back on your career. Do you have a project that uh, maybe you're most proud of, a film that you were, you were in that you're most proud of that uh, maybe people don't know about? Yeah, no, it's another taboo area. Uh, really, actors, I think personally that they, if they're doing the script that they love right now, then that's the goal. That's the one they love best. So it would be the company you keep? Yeah, the company you keep until we do something, you know, or, yeah. Excellent. That's yeah. a good answer.